Okay, now, oh, now I set a timer, now my timer works. Anyway, good morning. I just thought I would come and share a few things with you today um, regarding our family and how God has blessed us and some of the miracles that have happened. But I want to start this first video with um, just kind of a rundown of where we moved um, with all of our children, how many schools they had to change. This morning, I was listening to Jim's um, video that he posts every day, and he was sharing how we left Raymond and went to Louisiana, and I thought, how crazy was I to follow this man all over the place with these children, and, you know, we didn't know anybody in Louisiana or what were you thinking, taking a church down there? But anyway, um, so I'll just give you kind of a rundown of where all we, um, the ones I remember anyway. We got married and right away went to live in Jim's um, parents' porch. We um, had a bed out there and a crib for Desri and... That dresser, that's about it. Curtains on all the windows. That was our spot. And we didn't live there very long. We lived there probably three months, and then we moved to Bismarck, the capital city of the state of North Dakota, and we lived there probably a year. Uh, we had an upstairs apartment in a house. Um, the house was owned by an elderly couple, and and uh, she would come up and visit me and became my friend. She she was sad. She had a lot of problems. I, I just let her talk, and I guess that's what she wanted to do. I was a newlywed. And, um, Jim's brother lived with us for a while there in Bismarck. I had a miscarriage there in Bismarck. Um, we lived there, like I said, about a year, and then we moved to Jamestown, um, North Dakota. That's where Annette was born. In Jamestown, that's where the big buffalo is. And, uh, man, how long did we live in Jamestown? Well, I think it was a while. It was the longest, probably a couple of years. I mean, considering our other moves, that was quite a while. <laughs> I made some friends. We rented a house, so uh, we had neighbors. And um, then from Grand Forks, we moved to Fargo, North Dakota. We didn't stay there very long. We had a basement apartment and uh, we didn't stay there very long. Then from there, we moved to Grand Forks. Um, didn't stay there very long either, but uh, made some friends that lived behind us. Um, I just remember my friend behind us. She served her kids pancakes about every day. They must have just had an abundance of flour and and that's how it goes, you know, when you're newlywed and you don't have any money. Mm -hmm. um, then we moved to Minot and I'd lived in Minot before. Um, now, th through these moves, it was because Jim was selling insurance and his friend was the head of the insurance agency. And so we moved. Hmm. I don't know why. Anyway, we lived in Minot quite a while. Made friends with the, the general agent's wife we became very close and through the years we kept in contact the girls got to be friends with her boys and 
we did a lot together. I probably saw her every day. We just were very close friends. And, um, we, boy, I don't know how long we lived in Minot, North Dakota. And then we, um, Jim decided to go back to school, quit selling insurance. So we moved into the college housing. It was kind of cute little cabins. And uh, my aunt and uncle, my aunt was going to school there. And so they lived in one of them too. And we'd get together and play cards with them. And, and um, it was a good time to get to know my aunt and uncle better. And uh, then when Jim graduated from college, we went on to Georgia. Uh, military school just to decide what to do next and Jim went to this military school and we lived in a trailer court and it was so hot down there we didn't have air conditioning and so we bought a swimming pool a great big swimming pool that we put up alongside of our trailer house because there wasn't anybody living in the next lot so the kids at least had a swimming pool to play in. And it was a fun summer. It was fun living in that trailer court. And then after that school was over with, we went to another school in Virginia, uh, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. And that's where we were able to adopt or pick up Tisha. Yeah. You know, Adopt, I guess it's the right word. Um, like Jim said, I, I was watching TV and every day they'd show these little kids that needed homes and would somebody will be willing to adopt them. And there was two little girls, Tisha and Patty. And I asked if I could take them both. They were so cute. But they said I only could take one, and Tisha was in the most need of a home. She was not well, and so we decided to take Tisha. And then after that, we moved to Minot, North Dakota, after the school was over. Moved back to Minot, and um, we got born again on that trip back to Minot. Our neighbors invited us to a Bible study, and um, we got born again that night. So, well, let's see, how long did we live in Minot? I don't know. Years. And then we moved to Caroline, Alberta, to a Bible school. Jim felt we needed to learn more of the Bible. It, and um, hmm. yeah, from up in Caroline, Alberta, we moved then to Tulsa, to Rena, because Tisha got sick up in Caroline, and we had to come back to the States and went to Bismarck for it short little bit to try to figure out what was wrong with her and then from there we went to Rama. um in Tulsa Oklahoma and were there a year and started the church and came back I graduated from Rama and then we um graduated from Rama and we went to Wilmer, Minnesota. And you've heard a lot about Wilmer, Minnesota. Um, Jim started, well, we took over a little church there called Faith Bible and there weren't very many people. And we pastored it for about a year and it grew. People were hungry for the word. There was a revival going on. And, and then we... Um, uh, that's my timer <laughs> that I set. Oh, brother. 
How do I turn this thing off? No. Stop. Okay. Stop. I guess I'll stop and start over. Ooh, my fingers. 